are you doing? Man, it is good to be here, Ellie. It's really good to be here. It is amazing, and we are at the graduation event for the BC Kids. I know, I can't believe it's that time of year again. I know, I know, I know we're delayed. I know, I know. we're delayed, but guys, we couldn't do it in person. I know, we're really sorry. Yeah, but we're here now, you're here now. Thank you so much for joining us on this Friday night for your graduation event. Now, Ellie, what do we have coming up? We have so much coming up. We've got a lot of games for you guys to get involved in yeah. and just to have a laugh. We've also got a great message from me and Jordan, and we've got a couple of messages from the BCC Kids team yeah. and a couple of hellos and new faces from City Youth. Yeah, we do, we do. So we've got loads packed into today and yeah. we are so excited to get started. So excited, oh my gosh. And for you guys at home, hopefully you guys are enjoying this either on the City Youth channel or on the BCC Kids channel. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Uh, because you guys have a lot to look forward to in both of those channels. Now, Ellie, we're going to play the first game, and it's a challenge between myself and Ellie, you know, BCC Kids Leader versus CE Youth Leader, and we're going to decide, and, and kind of, I'm going to show off who can win, and I'm going to win the most points. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll, we'll see. see, we'll see. But how has lockdown been for you, Ellie? It's been Actually, it's been really busy. I've been keeping BCC kids really busy over lockdown. Yeah. So I've, I've really enjoyed it, thanks. How's lockdown been for you, Jordan? It's been good, it's been good. I haven't had as much exercise as I possibly <laughs> could have, but it's been good. It's been great hearing and seeing a few of the faces, you know, getting engaged with City Youth Live. If you don't know about City Youth Live, we've had a tremendous three months live streaming from our YouTube channel. Check out every one of those episodes on our channel if you want to have a look. But yeah, we've been occupied, we've been trying to keep the momentum going because everyone's yeah. been stuck inside, bored up and stuff. But yeah, so yeah, we've been, we've been all right, we've been all right. We've but been good. Now we're here, graduating. I know. Is it gonna be hard for you to let them go? Actually, there are so many good ones going, yeah. but you know, it's time to pass them on to you and yes. they're ready to be in City Youth. Yeah. But I'm so sad that they're going. Yeah. So sad. Yeah, me too. Now this thing keeps going in my face, <laughs> but we are dressed for the occasion, myself and Ellie, and the occasion is glow in the dark if you don't know, already is glow in the dark <laughs> kind of theme. Yeah. Um, and myself and Ellie are gonna be talking to you about that very shortly. But guys, stay tuned, because we're gonna jump straight into our game. You ready, Ellie? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. So here we are with our first game. Ellie, what is our first game? So our Steven? first game is called Seven in Eleven. And now you're gonna go first. So for this game, okay. Okay, you have <laughs> okay. prepare yourself. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. So for this game, you have to name seven items in eleven seconds on a specific category. So it could be seven items in the house. It could be zoo animals. Okay. It could be it could be <laughs> anything. It could be anything. It could be absolutely anything. Yes. Yeah. So are you ready, Jordan? I think so. Okay. I think so. So, Jordan, your category is you've got to name seven fast food restaurants. Seven fast food. Okay, cool. Are you ready? I'm ready. In three, two, one, go. Um, Nando's, Pizza Hut, um, Donald's, Burger King, KFC, uh, ah, uh, 11 times <laughs> up. I don't know why I froze. <laughs> I don't know, I was gonna say DFC, like you know those like chicken shops that are to be fair they are fast food, but I'm like oh, I forgot. Oh, man, okay. <sighs> don't worry. It's alright. It's okay. It's okay, I'll get you in the next round. I'll get you in the next round. I'll get them in the next round. It's fine. It's okay. Alright, Ellie, are you ready? I'm ready. You sure? Yeah, yours is gonna be easy to be. Just just It's fine, okay. It's fine. Right. I'm, cool. I'm chill. <laughs> Okay, so yours, your topic is seven chocolate bars. Are you ready? Oh no. Three. Wait, chocolate bar brands or chocolate bar flavors? Chocolate 
chocolate bar brand. It doesn't have to be an actual the name of the chocolate bar. Okay. Don't stop stalling. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. Galaxy, Bourneville, Cadbury. Come on. Milky Way, Bounty, oh. uh, Mars, Kit Kat. Stop, 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 stop. Does it count? Um, <sighs> Is Kit Kat chocolate? Kit Kat's not chocolate Kit Kat's not really a chocolate bar. It's not really a chocolate bar. It's okay. Uh, no, I don't think it counts, no. Okay. I wouldn't say it counts. So, six. Six, okay. okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, so round two. So Jordan, for round yeah. two, yeah. I have picked fizzy drinks. Okay. okay. Seven fizzy drinks. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Um, uh, Lilt, Tango, uh, Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, uh, Diet Coke, Seven Up, uh, uh, Pepsi Max. Ooh, he did it. In 11 seconds. Nice. Nice. Oh, dear. It's going to be harder to beat. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, Ellie, are you ready for yours? I'm ready. You sure? I think so. Okay. Now, yours, Ellie, is zoo animals. Okay. <laughs> Three seconds, two seconds, one second, go. Zebras, lions, giraffes, rhinos, hippos, meerkats. And worms. <laughs> worms. Oh, worms. So I can think worms. Of worms. Really, worms. You. I'm pretty sure you'll see a worm. Worms. Yeah. As a zoo animal. Well, they're definitely fed to the zoo animals. Oh, obviously, she's run out of time, and that was only six. Oh. So. Jordan's the winner. Well, yes, I am. Yes, yes. Well, actually, am I the winner? Because you got six and six, I got five and seven. Ooh. So, guys, it's a tiebreaker. It is. Oh! <laughs> okay, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> so, Jordan, I have chosen for you football teams. You've got to name seven football teams in 11 seconds. Are you ready? Okay, go. Three, yeah. two, one, go. So football teams, uh, uh, Liverpool, Manchester United, uh, Manchester City, uh, Aston Villa, Birmingham City, West Bromwich Albion, uh, West Ham. Oh, just. <laughs> Woo. I think he's right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> okay. All right. So Ellie, I've just won that one. All right. Okay. Um, your turn. Your next <laughs> your next topic is things with wheels. Oh dear. Three, two, one, go. Cars, motorbikes, lorries, bicycles, scooters. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. That's <laughs> what else has wheels? <laughs> yeah, it looks like I am. Jordan's the winner. The champion. The champion. That's it. So if you guys want to be champions, you definitely need to head over to City Youth. And that's the way you're headed. Headed for the winning team. So Ellie, what do we have coming up next? So next, I'm going to introduce you to all the year sixes graduating to City Youth. Nice. So, without further ado, in actually alphabetical order okay. of surname. So, are you ready? You're getting some really, really good ones this year. Come on, let's go. So, you're getting Eniola. Eniola's Eniola. moving up. Hey. Temi Sola. Hey. Temi. What's going on? OJ. Hey. Joshua. What's up, Josh? Daniel. What's going on? Jesse. Woo. D'Angelo. What's going on, D'Angelo? Maximilian. Maximilian. Jonathan. Ooh. Michael. Deborah. Sumaya. She's coming up. Tanache. Yeah. What's going on? Junior. Harold. 
Carly, Carly's moving up. Some noise, Jayla, yeah. Jayla, Yosef, Stacey, and Jackson. Blessed, David. Blessed. Another David. David. Nature. Didamo. Yeah. Sara. What's going on, guys? David. Kanan's moving up. Kimora. And last but not least, Aaliyah. And Aaliyah. There you go. All of them wow. are graduating and we're so sad to see them go, but so happy that they're moving on. We're going to be looking forward to your arrival in September this year. So right now, guys, you're in for a treat. Here is your children's worker, your, children, your kids' leader, your children's pastor, Ellie Cave, with a small message just for you. So congratulations all you year sixes for moving into City Youth. It's been so good watching you guys just grow up in BCC Kids and now you're graduating City Youth. I can't believe it. I didn't think this day would come. But anyway, I have some advice for you and I want you to listen carefully. My message for you today is always come expecting. So I want you to be prepared. I want you to be waiting and expecting something amazing from God. Maybe he's already done some amazing things for you, but that doesn't mean he won't stop doing those amazing things. So I'm gonna to read to you Psalm chapter 91, verse 14 to 16, and it says, "'Because he loves me,' says the Lord, "'I will rescue him. "'I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. "'He will call on me and I will answer him. "'I will be with him in trouble. "'I will deliver him and honor him. "'With long life, I will satisfy him "'and show him my salvation.'" So if God is doing all this for us, he's rescued us, he's answering our prayers, he's saving us from all these different kinds of trouble, shouldn't we be waiting on him? Shouldn't we be expecting him? Shouldn't we be praying to him? Shouldn't we be talking to him? So in City Youth, you're gonna learn lots of new things. And in BCC Kids, we've laid some foundations for you to help you in City Youth, because you're gonna do some amazing things on this journey with God. And we just wanna prepare you for that. And I want you to be expectant, be good listeners, be prepared for what Jordan and the team have for you. So what does being expectant look like? So it looks like coming to church physically. You should really get involved in all the things City Youth have got. You should ask Jordan and talk to the team because they've got so much that you can get involved in. City Youth has some amazing tribes that Jordan is probably gonna to talk to you about later. But getting involved in those and getting stuck into church is a great way of listening to God and getting to know him deeper. BCC Kids has taken you this far. Now it's time for City Youth to take you further on your journey with God. So remember to be expectant, be good listeners, be prepared for what City Youth has in store for you. Now here is a quick message from the BCC Kids team, wishing you all the best and we're all gonna miss you. And now here is a little message from Jordan. Hi guys and welcome to City Youth where there is so much to discover and so much to grow into that you're not going to know what to do with. We have so much planned for you. God has so much planned for you. As you take this next step, as you take this giant step in your faith journey from your kind of parents background and faith into your own new exciting adventure into faith and your walk with Jesus. Now in one of my favorite books of the Bible in the book of Matthew, Jesus is doing his ministry, he's with the disciples and he's changing lives, he's touching people, he's healing people and there's a particular part in Matthew 17 where Jesus says and looked at his disciples and said humanly speaking nothing, something is, is, is impossible, things are impossible but with God anything is possible and this is the message for you guys today is that actually 
as much as 2020 was a weird year and it still is a weird year it's still an odd year as much as there's a lot of darkness around as much as there's a lot of sadness that is uh, that we're experiencing and that is around that we know that the father god that jesus is the light of the world we've probably been taught that in our bcc kids times with ellie all that kind of stuff but one of the things we need to look out for is what God will be doing in the next half of 2020. Now, when he, when Jesus said this, when Jesus said, man, anything's impossible for humans, but actually for God, nothing is impossible. He was talking about the things that he's called the disciples to do. He, the disciples were actually at this moment trying to do something with an effort with a with a, a faith that had kind of questions and 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 didn't put them in a place where actually they could succeed because they, I, I think they were looking at things with god's perspective and jesus went on to say if you had faith as little as a mustard seed you could say to this mountain move and it would move and so I want to encourage you today, I want to encourage you this evening to actually think, well, actually, there's a lot of things that I don't know. We don't know what the next few months are, are going to hold. We don't know what our time in City Youth is going to bring. But what I can assure you is that God is going to inspire you and grow you and help you to believe in him so that you gain the perspective, the heavenly perspective that has so much potential, so much fun stuff, so much growth, so many opportunities to go out and do things for God and go out and pray for people, go out and make new friends and, and make all of these things things possible because we're leaning on God and we have this different kind of perspective. The three key words with City Youth is believe, grow, inspire. And we help you guys as young people to believe in the God of the Bible, but also to grow in your, in your faith through key relationships, but then to be an inspiration to those around you because God has inspired you to do that. And so as we remember what Jesus said to his disciples, listen, Everything is impossible for man, but everything is possible for God. We've got to lean on God. We've got to trust him in these dark times. And I believe that you are graduating now in order to become a light, to become something different, to become someone different, someone that you're familiar with, someone that you're proud of, someone that your parents can be proud of, someone that God will be proud of. We are so looking forward to meeting you, helping you grow and helping you change your world. So we want to celebrate you and we want to invite you in to City Youth because your presence means so much and we just know that you're going to change lives as your life is changed and transformed for the better. So let's get excited. Let's go on the journey together. It's going to be great. Hey everyone, it is the team, it is the crew, it is the City Youth team right here to, ready to invite you in and welcome you with open arms. Take a look. Welcome back everyone. We're going to play another game. Ellie? Yes! We're going to play another game where I'm going to win. No, it's a rematch no, um, because, no, no. because no. we weren't entirely sure no. if you won. Mm, no, I think, I think I did win that. I think City Youth won that. <laughs> Anywho, we're going to play a game called From the Bible. Okay. Yeah? And all you have to do, Ellie, is get some top answers. Now, you can only get three wrong answers in this game. You can play along, and I'm going to give you the first from the Bible topic. Are you ready? Okay, ready. Ready, cool. So, you have to name an animal mentioned in the Bible, or from the Bible. Okay. Ready? Yes. Go for it. So, top answers get you some top marks. Okay. So, first answer. Donkey. Correct, correct. Yes. Yeah, yeah, correct. Next one, I'm going to say raven. Does that count as an animal? Raven? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll move on. Let's go for pig. Pig, are you correct? No, that's your first wrong answer. That's your first wrong answer. See, you've got one answer correct. First wrong okay. answer. Uh, then I'm going to go for a 
horse. Horse? Uh, is horse on there? No, it's not actually. Ooh. It's not. Mm. No, so that's two wrong answers. Okay. We've got one life left, Ellie. Come on now. I'm trying to think. Raven should be on there. Um, Raven should be. Okay. Raven should be. It's a bird. Um, oh, one more. Come on. Just one more. Come Just one on. more. Thinking. We should really have a four feet in place. We should really have like you know, pie in the face. You know. Thinking. That yeah, that, that's, that would rise should, the pressure. <laughs> you should definitely have a pie in the face oh, if you don't win this. You know. The winners get like a trophy, some chocolate, and then he just gets a pie in the face. How about that, Ellie? Yeah, uh, I, I would like that, but that would definitely put on the heat. I'm okay. gonna say. So your last answer, what is your last answer? What do you feel like there's an um, um, animal mentioned in the Bible? Where is he? There's it? a cow, isn't there? There is a cow, but it's not uh. the right answer. It's not, the, it's not one of the top answers. Um, you could have said a dove. You could have said a sheep. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. You could have even said a camel. All the answers are going to be shown on the screen right now. Um, there's a selection of answers, but you I only got... the weird ones. <laughs> you picked all the weird ones. I'm sorry. Ellie. It's so, you know, it's okay. It's all right. That means, that essentially means oh, that I've won. Oh, dear. That essentially means oh, I've won. Um, but we don't know yet, so we're going to have another go. Um, uh, from the Bible. Um, and it's Ellie's turn to ask me. All right, Jordan, are you ready? I am ready as can be. Okay, so the category I have picked for you is Name a Famous Old Testament Bible Story. Old Testament Bible story. Okay, cool. Okay, okay you cool. Ready? I'm ready. And uh, three, two, one, go. Go. Um, uh, Samson and Delilah. Actually, it's not on the list. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Two more lives left. All right. Um, David and Goliath. Correct. Nice. That's one. Um, uh, Okay, um, 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 Abraham and Isaac. Not on the list. It's not on the list. What? Not on the list. What? Okay, um, Old That's Testament. That's two. Old Testament. Old Testament stories. Uh, Noah and the Ark. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay, that makes two. <laughs> that makes two. Okay, um, mm, uh, uh, Old Testament, um, how about, mm, how about, uh, no, uh, Adam and Eve? Not on the list, I'm sorry. <laughs> you could have had things like, so the top one was Noah's Ark. Yes. The next one was David and Goliath. Okay. Uh, Jonah and the Whale. Ah, oh, Jonah and the Whale. Parting the Red Sea. Parting the Red Sea, Moses, I'm out Creation. Uh, Joseph and the coat of many colours. That's yeah, that's the one. True. And oh, lastly, man. Daniel in the lion's den. Daniel the lion, man. It's right. hard thinking on the spot. It is really hard, yeah. If you guys were playing along at home um, and you guys got most of those right, then man. We'll do a swap. To you. <laughs> yeah, hats Next to time, you. you can do it. <laughs> man, it's been, yeah. But I think I won that one, Ellie. I think you did. I think I won that one. So, I really hope you enjoyed Man. today's session. It was good, wasn't it? Was it was a really good show. So good. Really, really the games. Good. Yeah. Oh, make sure you try those at home yeah. with your family. Yeah, it was <gasps> great seeing all the people show up on screen, all the yes. names, you know, the hellos, the goodbyes. Yeah. All that kind of stuff. Oh, we're going to miss you guys. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to having you guys in September when we welcome you back. Now, we don't know when we're going to see each other in person, but we're just glad that you joined us this evening. Yeah, so glad. So let's finish our session together by praying. So Lord, I just thank you for all these year sixes tuning in tonight, Lord. I thank you for their enthusiasm, their energy, and their hearts, Lord. And Lord, I just pray, Lord, I just pray that you will ignite something in their hearts in City Youth, Lord, that they would just have a new sensation 
and burning energy for you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And yes, Lord, we want to uh, not just thank you, but just celebrate everybody who is coming across and graduating, moving up, leveling up, despite the times that we're having right now. And we want to ask that you would bless them, that you would favor them, that you give them courage and strength to start school in September, and then strength and courage and friends and fellowship and, and bless them with faith as well as they start City Youth this coming autumn so we bless you so much lord god thank you for walking with us lord jesus and thank you for this evening in Jesus' name we thank you and we pray amen 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 so guys it was brilliant thank you so much for watching uh do not forget to hit that subscribe button both here on speed on city youth tv <laughs> <laughs> and on bcc kids as well um, just so you guys know when we're uploading stuff um, that would be great so guys we hope to see you again soon but stay safe and, and goodbye yeah <laughs> hey, hey. <Dear. laughs> we did <laughs>